Andrew Cuomo came in wearing his best I'm still the governor suit. Republican challenger Mark Molinaro fittingly wearing an underdog pin. And for a brief period of time, it looked like both men were prepared to discuss the issues, like taxes. Would Cuomo commit to cutting government spending by 5 percent and return the money to taxpayers? He quickly turned it into an attack on Molinaro, the Dutchess County executive. And we have to get local governments to control their property taxes. For example, Dutchess County, my opponent over seven years raised property taxes 58%. That has to stop. Governor, were that only true, uh, in fact, uh, your budgets have increased spending at about an annual rate of 4% each year. They went on to discuss the importance of health care. I grew up on food stamps, sir. My mother struggled hard. I know exactly what it's like to be waiting on line for you Medicaid services. You remember what it was like. Don't, I remember exactly what it's yeah. like. Well, and they I, give I've people your, health care. I've seen your government dehumanize people waiting on lines for Medicaid all across the state of New York. I've seen kids that need developmental de disability services. So you services. want to end it? I absolutely am committed to not only uh, supporting the, that population, but expanding services, and I always have. For the last, for the last eight years... You'll expand Medicaid? I will absolutely do more to ensure that... You'll deliver, expand the Medicaid. I'm going to write that down. That's news. Molinero pointed to the conviction of longtime Cuomo A. Joe Percoco. This is what is stealing from taxpayers. You have allowed individuals in this administration to defraud taxpayers. And anywhere else in America, no governor could possibly be running for re-election. Never U.S. attorney said I had nothing to do with anything. I did absolutely it's nothing not what wrong. They said. Meanwhile, you're the one who has been called on for an investigation for you a are, kickback that went into your pocket. That is not true. Where you had a family member employed by a contractor who you gave a contract and then you lied about it on the disclosure form. What you described has been demonstrably proven false. Time and again, the governor painted Molinero with the Trump brush. We need to invest in, in the mental health services that have been dismantled. This is so hypocritical for you to sit here, an acolyte of Donald Trump, mini me of Donald Trump, who was decimating health care in this state. When he first came to office, told him you wouldn't run against him. And you, sir, had him at your bachelor party. I didn't. Food Are you stamps. saying you don't support Donald Trump? I'm saying that I'm absolutely committed to the delivery of Do mental health services. you support Donald Trump? Right, let's get out of this conversation. Do you support Today, under, under this president and this federal government, America has the most competitive economy in the world. During the lightning round at the end, I asked both candidates what song personifies them or their campaign. Cuomo chose Empire state of mind, Molinero said, don't stop believing. Both were adamant about not singing, Cuomo calling it a campaign killer. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.